What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to another Hero Breakdown video. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all enjoying the Black Friday summon. Um, the portal hasn't been kind to me if I'm honest, but I hope it's been better for you guys. And we do have a brand new hero in the Dunes portal. Um, his name's Amos and uh, we're going to go ahead and have a look at Amos today. He's featured in the portal along with two other great heroes, Konshu and Tetesheri. Um, I was lucky enough to snag Konshu and he has been a great, great addition to my roster. So if you do pull him, definitely consider yourselves lucky. He is a great sniper and that mana effect is just it's boss if you um get him off at the right time to kill the target he just boosts his mana right up again and he's good to go again in another three tiles and then the other hero teta sherry i've done another review on him as well and he's a great hit three defense down hero he's been a little overshadowed since jove entered the other portal but we won't talk too much about that so on to Amos. So Amos is a nature hero and he is of the wizard class, which is a great class. It gives him the opportunity to jinx so he can deal extra damage from that. He's got the moon family bonus where they get a bonus for one or more heroes and a chance to cast minus 24 defense for two turns and deal 196 water damage over two turns as well. So that's a great family bonus. And the passive, for me, and I've said it before, this passive is where the Moon Family heroes shine. They have a 70% chance to deal an extra 70% damage to all enemies. And we're going to see why that is so important, especially for this guy. And all enemies get minus 24% mana generation for three turns as well. So Amos is looking absolutely beastly i mean he has got rage in his eyes and uh, yeah like a lot of these heroes in the season five portal i've noticed we can't see their faces um but yeah i guess that just makes them look a bit more evil um in the end and i do like the art on this one as well so yeah good job with that now on to his stats he is a tanky hero, this guy. So he's got 778 attack, 836 defense, and 1503 on the health. So he's definitely going to be able to take a hit. His special skill is Ancient Mirror, and it's running at slow speed. So Amos at slow speed is dealing 400% damage to all enemies. So that is a massive hit. Now this is where the passive comes into effect because he gets the chance to give an extra 70% damage to all enemies. We've seen how effective this is with Khufu. However, even though Khufu is running at the same speed, his damage depends on whether he can chain through the enemies. If you've got dodge up, the chain doesn't always work. And also, if you've got a missing enemy, so one of your and one of your allies has died, that chain just doesn't go through all the enemies. Now, with Amos, that 400% damage hit to all enemies is not conditional, which means that regardless of whether there's an enemy missing or whether you've got dodge up, he's going to go ahead and try and hit everyone. Now, above and beyond that, all allies reflect all status effects and 150% damage back to the attacker and block other negative effects from enemies fire special skills for four turns and the effect can't be dispelled. So two important things against this guy. Number one, don't bring red heroes. And number two, if you do bring a red hero, be prepared to die basically <laughs> you're just going to reflect the damage back so it's not a good idea to bring a red hero against this guy he is definitely positioned i would say to be a tank um, put him in the middle 
He's going to be an absolute superstar in Rush, no doubt. Um, I don't think that there's anyone who hits quite as hard. When I was looking at him earlier, I was reminded of another hero that I like to use quite often. And that is this guy, um, Lu Bu. And he deals 330% damage to all enemies. Obviously, I've got a, him limit, bro limit broken, so the attack stats up to 954. But that high 330% damage is usually enough uh, to, to take a significant chunk out of the enemy. Yes, he's got the extra fiends. But then Amos has the extra 70% damage, which triggers 70% of the time and the reduced mana generation. So I think this guy is a bit of a sleeping giant. And I think that if you do manage to snag him from this portal, I would be really interested to see somebody take a video of this guy as a tank in Rush. Or uh, if you're running purple tanks, just pop him anywhere and just see how good your defense does. Because... I think Amos is going to be <clears throat> somebody that we're going to be seeing a lot of in the future. And I wouldn't mind grabbing hold of this guy because he is a great, great hero. So don't fear the slow heroes. If there's anything that you take from this video, I'd like it to be that. On the reflect of the damage, remember it's not just the damage they're giving. He reflects 150% of the damage back to the attacker. Um, so it is going to be super effective if you're taking him up on an attacking team against red heroes. So yeah, in summary, I think Amos is great. I think that if you're struggling a little in the Black Friday portal, you do have an alright odds here. You've got, uh, what, a 1% chance to get legendary featured hero. And the legendary season 5 hero is another 0.6% chance. So if you're struggling in Black Friday, why not try your hand at this? And you might have some free coins as well. I've done a few pulls but didn't get anything I'd, I'd really need. Um, but I do have a few projects on the go, so I'm not too upset about that. So I wish you, all, you, wish you guys all the best in your summons. Um, hopefully you do manage to snag this guy. If you do, um, please uh, let me know in the comments how he performs. Uh, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again in the next video.